Hey guys, we're out here doing some maintenance and I wanted to touch on uh, our water hole system here. Um, we are up on the ridge top here. Uh, we've got um, a pretty good sized piece of property uh, sitting right here. And we do have some ponds established, but up on top of these ridge tops uh, where a lot of our bucks will run, especially during the rut, um, we don't have a real good water source for them. So what we've started doing is we started putting these 40 gallon uh, tanks in here. Um, you will see a ton of videos out there with 110, 150 gallon tanks, and I think they work just fine. Um, but my strategy is a tad bit different on them, um, and the reason being is 40 gallon tanks a lot easier to fill than the 150 gallon tank. Um, and even with the natural water flow, I still come up here every six months and actually refresh the water. So I actually dump this water out and then add new water in here. I will walk you through how I get the water. Um, I've actually got a, uh, a small little generator and a water pump that actually, uh, one of our creeks, I'm um, actually uh, hooked that thing and or put it in there, uh, pump the water out of that creek system into a 55 gallon um, drum with a uh, off and on a nozzle there. Um, and that works out really good. I'm able to throw that thing in the back of the Ranger, fill it up, transport it, any any piece of property I've got um, you know and then also uh, up on any of the ridge tops back right up to it and fill, fill it up um, you know if I am needing uh, a little bit more um, distance wise there I also carry a hose that's like four or five feet that I'm able to actually screw on that nozzle and then it moves uh, moves forward uh, you know I can be able to uh, just put the nozzle out there and, and fill the tank up that way if, if need be um, I did want to touch on one thing here. Uh, one thing that anybody that's got any kind of experience with these things is going to probably catch on pretty quick is I don't have a branch coming out of here. And there's a good reason for it. Is instead of a branch, I actually put 55 gallon cinder blocks in here. And I actually ran into this while I was creating a cover uh, for, on a minnow tank. That's the same, same thing here. And I wanted to allow those minnows to have some sort of a, a shadow shadow area. Um, so I actually stuck that in there. And even on the full, um, there's only that much of a gap uh, of water from the tip top. So basically, I've got that center block sitting right here. And any animal that were to fall in here would be able to climb up on that center block and be able to escape uh, very easily. Um, so something else to kind of keep in mind, um, you know, the, like I said, the... Uh, the branch or whatever uh, stick works just fine, but that's just another another idea that, that I've uh, ran upon myself and and uh, you know so far I've been running these things for a couple years now and haven't had any animals uh, die in the tank. So uh, I feel like it's working um, as designed. Uh, I will kind of walk through the rest of the uh, my setup here. I've got an anal analogic um, mineral dirt station right in through here. I do have a. Uh, box scrape vine uh, sitting right here got the tacticam xb that's sending me all these cellular videos um you know on a daily basis or as the deer come through and then i've also got a tree stand um about tw 20 uh, 18 to 20 yards um straight uh, east of here um and that's kind of the key to any of these uh, systems that you guys run is don't just put them anywhere you know put those things where you feel most comfortable and you know confident that you're going to be the har harvest those that big mature buck that you've been after or you know a good travel corridor uh, you know so you guys can isolate those um, and harvest them there so um, i think that wraps up everything on our water hole setup along with a little bit of mock scrape and, and mineral dirt from analogic deal um, so i uh, appreciate you guys and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and like always hopefully you guys are getting out there in nature and best of luck on your upcoming hunt